The lights come up in Gilliam Music's recital hall. Today, no students are performing. Ross Trowick is tuning the Kauai Grand Piano that is the centerpiece of the recital hall. There's still just nothing quite like the, the sound of a well-tuned acoustic piano, you know, no matter what, you know, no matter how well they've done with electronics, there's still just something about the acoustic sound that supersedes anything electronics has been able to duplicate at this point. Ross begins the tuning process by blocking off some of the strings with a thick piece of felt called a beading strip. And to see, you know, first what the octaves sound like, you know, but also listen for any notes like that one right there. And you're kind of a twang to it. Uh, uh, at least one or more of the three strings is at a different pitch level, so it creates a kind of a twangy sound. The first note he tunes is middle C. He sets that with a tone from an electronic tuner. And it's indicating to me that it's flat, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Ross has a few basic tools he uses to adjust the pitch of each string, the tuning lever and the mute. And uh, this is used to turn the tuning pins so as to adjust the tension of the string. And if you notice a while ago when I hit it two or three times like that after I pulled up on it, that was to help equalize the change of tension in the string and help stabilize it before we continue with tuning. With the first note tuned, Ross can begin what is called setting the temperament. Okay, now that we've set the temperament, uh, and setting the temperament is a lot like uh, laying the foundation for our house. It's what we're going to build the entire tuning on here. Once he finishes the temperament, really Ross tunes the upper register of the piano. Those notes can be stubborn. You know, so I'm using my thumbnail to pluck them with. So I can sometimes get a better clarity of the notes that way than I can just by hitting the, with the hammer like a. He finishes the top with a final check of the octaves. Tuning can stretch the piano strings too much and adjustments need to be made. It, it actually stretched a little bit. And anytime you raise the pitch uh, on a piano, <clears throat> the, the more you raise it, the more you have to compensate for that by actually overstretching the octave to where, uh, as that string stretches, that they'll hopefully fall into place. But uh, sometimes they'll stretch a little bit further than what you compensate for anyway. Ross moves to the lower register notes and tunes the bass notes, removing the beating strip as he moves up the keyboard. He finishes where he started, middle C. He performs a final check of the notes, then the finishing touch on his job is to put the freshly tuned piano through its paces. The piano is now ready for local piano students to display their talents, thanks to piano tuners like Ross. Courtney Kirby, OU Knightley.